hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel it is kristen aka coco games and i'm back with another video it feels so surreal and so weird to be saying that but yet here we are i know it's been a minute actually it's been a month and honestly i just wanted to talk to you all before we got into this video now this video is almost like the start of something new Ooh. <clears throat> my voice is a little crusty um because it's early in the morning but i just wanted to kind of give a channel update but not really um i'm really tired of coming to this channel and seeing me just throwing up anything especially because that's not how we started i've been watching a lot of my old videos from every thug needs a lady to yaya's world you name it i've been watching it and i realized that i really used to care about my content and i think the reason why the quality begins to get lower and lower is because of course natural burnout and also just the things that have been happening in this community no matter if it's the cc drama no matter if it's the game literally not being able to be played it's just been a whole lot of stuff surrounding the game that has made me not want to play it and the fact that the last thing that i uploaded on this channel was me so excited so happy about the high school pack and then it's like the most worst thing to happen to the sims 4 in a long time it's pretty ironic but then I started watching my old things and then I looked at the sub count and I realized we were at 19.1k like I've literally been making YouTube videos for almost five years and we made it to 19.1k and I'm just I don't know you can call me Hamilton but I'll never be satisfied like I'll never be satisfied with it just sitting at 19.1k when I feel like it should be sitting at 20 so I know in order to do that I really want us to dig back into what this channel started on which is literally having what you have in the sims and just making storylines like and in really big moments in the game that really don't come from the game but come from my my mind and i miss that side of this channel so i think i'm gonna try to put that back into it especially for all the newbies we have coming to the channel who who weren't here in the beginning and i really just want to make this channel something that i'm proud of again and that means that i'm starting a new lp and this new lp is going to be called amber's life which i'll explain a little bit more later in the, in the video but i just wanted to say i thank you for all your support if you've been supporting me the past couple of years um if you subscribed if you liked the video if you're a patreon of mine if you watch me on twitch twitch.tv slash coco <laughs> and yeah um i guess this is like a mini channel update because this month i'm really not talking about what i'm gonna do i'm just doing it and i hope you all see that and yeah um I love you so much y'all my little babies and we're about to get into this new era of the channel where we go back to our roots but we have way better CC <laughs> so let's get into it you can't even sit in peace cause all of these niggas be on you Corey Towns y'all I'm just saying I can be yeah, one that you call and you talk to, girl I'll share my world with you If you're gonna waste your time yeah, Then waste your time with me I mean, honestly Open your eyes and see If you're gonna who's waste giving your you time what you need Then waste your time with me You could have all Wasted, baby. 
Welcome to the current apartment of the new main character of our new series, Amber's Life. Amber, this is a series I will be uploading every Sunday of the week. This is more like a mini introduction, so I'm not giving you all the tea, but I am allowing the way the apartment is designed and laid out to almost do the introduction for me. So let's talk about the apartment since this is an apartment tour. This apartment is deep in the spice market. Me and the babies over on Twitch are actually doing a personal RP of Amber where we come up with the story and I add my own storyline to things we brainstorm together. You can actually follow it all on Pinterest. We even have a community Pinterest board. All of that will be linked down below. This new LP is going to be a blend of taking the story and making it a full world on and offline. I didn't say this in the intro, but my Let's Play The Sims 4 series is still going on. I'll be uploading that on the days we aren't focused on Amber's life. In our community RP, we decided Amber would be a resident of downtown Atlanta, and even though the fashion district was more downtown vibes, I feel like the Spice District apartments gave off more of the in-game vibe that we really needed. So let's start the tour. All right, everyone. I cannot believe we're back to making videos like this. I'm pretty sure so far you can see there's so much more effort put in than the last couple of months. And honestly, I'm so excited. I'm tired because this video took a lot out of me, you know, getting back into the flow of everything. But I'm so excited. So... Amber's life is going to be really, really special. I feel like all of the LPs from before has geared us up to do this. So let's go ahead and do the apartment tour. Now, um, y'all, if you've been around, know that I hate these standard doors. So I usually put like a wall in front of like the base door and then I make it look like it's an actual like different door but as soon as you enter obviously you have the thermostat with the light switches I tried to add so much detail obviously the apartment is not fully done yet because we haven't really started the LP and I'm starting the LP off as if Amber has been here for maybe like a month or two and even though she's like just starting in her career and yes she has a little small business um this apartment building and a lot of the buildings around the city are owned by her uncle and her cousin is like the main landlord for her dad so yeah um that's why things are so easily easily done in this apartment but yeah as you enter of course um like i said i like to change the door so we have a little custom door we have the thermostat with the light switch and then um a little carpet to put your shoes off when you come in the house because that's just how she was raised then over here we have the door to the bathroom um, a cat litter box because she does have a cat. Uh, her name is Nova. And you have some art. You're going to see art all around the, the apartment. And a lot of the art that she has is actually by somebody who you'll be meeting probably in the first episode of the LP. And his name is Ryan. And that's her best friend. He's been her best friend since college. And um, might be might be, be something more. But yeah, I really didn't know what else to put in this area. I'm definitely going to add more detail and, you know, clutter and stuff as the time goes on. But right now, we just have this, like a little detail of a plug. Um, and yeah, over here is the bathroom. I'm going to show y'all this real quick because there's honestly nothing in here either. Like, it's the same thing. Like, I did as much as I wanted to do. And then the rest, I'm just like, you know, she just moved in a month ago. So she still has to get everything settled. So, you know, a little light switch detail. Then the the t um <laughs> I was supposed to call this a tub then the um toilet I actually just put out um why is it toothpaste on the floor don't ask me okay um I just put out this rug and a few more other decor on my patreon yes I still have a patreon 
Um, it's available for early access, the decor pack that I just put out. And I think it goes public the 24th. But yeah, the Patreon is still there. I'm just not putting stuff on my CC website anymore. I'm doing everything through Patreon to abide by the rules. So um, everything is early access now. But um, I just put this out, so go and grab it if you like. And I wanted to do, I saw an actual content creator in real life have like these plants in the shower. Like, I think it was like Olay or something. I forget. But I really, really like that idea. So I want to do that. But I have so many more plans that I want to do for this bathroom, even though it's small. And honestly, Amber is not going to be here for forever, but we can still, you know, judge it up. So I still want to put stuff in the bathroom. But for right now, this is where it's at. And this little, like, clipping glitch gets on my nerves. But it happens in all apartments. So, as we go further in the apartment, I didn't want it to be such an open space. Because I feel like Amber is somebody who doesn't mind a little clutter as long as she has everything in her mind like where everything is so I didn't want it to feel so open I wanted it to feel very lived in so I put this um divider right here and then as soon as you enter oh the rug is off centered I'm gonna change that but as soon as you enter you have her kitchen and I made sure to put a little dining table here because I feel like she would love that just Cause this is like a modern apartment feel It's more like it's modern, but it still has some oldness to it, which that's why I really wanted to do the spice market. And I don't know, I think in the beginning I said spice district, but y'all know what I was saying. So you have her little dining table here with her small amount of space. Oh my God, this, this glitch is nasty. Um, and you have her laptop here because she's always on it. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to explain um, in the first episode what she does specifically but she's always on her computer and she has her hydro flask because yeah and yeah just cute little little chairs and then her kitchen over here I wanted to do like a little pantry but I didn't fill it all the way up because yeah um underneath I thought this was cute to do like the little cleaning supplies we have a a of what the why could I think of this word an extinguisher <laughs> and then you know like a microwave stove I tried to add as much detail to the kitchen as I could but also keep it looking clean because I almost cluttered it too much to where it looked like girl do you need to be on an episode of hoarders so I tried to keep it lived in but also looking clean so she has like you know her her detergent here, I mean, her, her dishwashing soap, you know, little things to add to the stove. We have some seasonings up at the top. Oh, the Sims, the Sims. I cannot, let me, let me maybe zoom out. Maybe that'll help. Then we have, um, you know, her dishes. I'm going to have a BF. <laughs> We have her dishes over here. I thought this was cute to add because her coffee maker is over here. So I put some Dunkin' coffee over here. And it was this little canister of Dunkin' K-Pods. So I put this here. Her, her Sailor Moon cup. All the details that I used to add. Now, now it's back. Um, Over here is where... Oh, God. I did not know Nova ate all that food. But it used to be filled. Um, this is the cat's little eating area. I put some cat food there to add to the ambiance. I don't know if she'll be able to reach this trash can, but there's a trash can there. And then that's when we head over to the living space. Now, I really wanted her to have a washer and dryer just because, like... I want to do laundry. So I had to find a cute little space to put it in. At first, it was a struggle. If you were on Twitch with me, you already know. Um, we decorated some of this on my Twitch channel, which you can find in the description box down below. It is twitch.tv slash Coco Aline. And um, yeah, that was fun. And I made sure to put a lot of laundry based things up here. So we have some, you know, Tide stuff. We have some pods. We have some bleach. 
all of that stuff that you need and some extra clothes that she probably just took out the dryer and put up at the top. And I really liked this whole area because this is giving me the feels that I wanted Amber to give. So over here is just like, um, this is really nothing. This is just like standard decor with some candles. I put a little autumn in here with the plant. But this is what I wanted her to give, like a full vinyl wall. Um, I believe these recolors are by Meat Games, but I made this vinyl um, mesh. So shout out to her um, because she did cute recolors. I just didn't do some of these because some of them are not like real life vinyls. But I thought it was cute just to add. And then um, over here we have just an Amazon package because she's always getting Amazon packages, which, you know, you'll see why in the first episode. Uh, and then her iced coffee, some money. We got some mail, you know, all the little details. And then a record player to play the records on the wall. Ooh, we see Amber in the other room. Um, okay, I went through that, went through that. And then because she is of drinking age, we have a little drinking station because her friends come over her apartment a lot, which you will see in the first episode. Everything is coming in the first episode. They come over her house a lot because, I don't know, they're just close like that. So we have an open sign because the bar is always open in this house. And she has some books, some manga up there because she really, really likes anime. And then over here is just, I don't know why there's a clock floating in the air, but let's just ignore that. Um, oh, the couch, the couch. I love these pillows. We found these when I streamed on Twitch. Uh, we, as soon as we put these pillows down, we were like, this house is giving a little hippie, isn't it? And it definitely is, which I don't mind. And then this is also, well, this Rihanna coffee table book is something that I want in my real life when I get my first apartment. <laughs> When I get my first apartment, I'm getting this coffee table book. So I ended up making it in The Sims for now. And honestly, I love it. I think it's a really cute centerpiece. That's why it's so big. If y'all put this in y'all game and y'all be like, dang, girl, it's kind of big. It's because it's a coffee table book. It's supposed to be that big. And um, on top of it, I have this Claus statue that I made a long time ago, like a few months ago. But the Rihanna book I just put out yesterday with the rug and all things like that. So, like I said, it's in the description. And then I have, you know, her remote for the TV. I thought this was a cute setup. One of my favorite streamers has, like, a bunch of these statues around his house. Um, Bruce Dropamov. And I just was like, let me do this for her, you know, since I made her around his age. And then we just have two seats with the same cute pillows. And then we have her TV with her Alexa that was playing Brent Fayez earlier. Ah, did y'all see that little... Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was playing Brent Fayez. That's one of her faves, as we'll see as we go through the apartment. And we have this swirly neon light thing. I also made this myself. A lot of this, this stuff that you'll see around her apartment, like I made specifically for her, but I put out to my patrons. So if you are a Patreon, this is also up on the Patreon for early access. And then I had to do a mirror. I, at first I didn't have a mirror, but I was like, no, like I really need a mirror in this living room. So we have a cute little swirl mirror standing thing so she can take pictures and another Another piece of art by Ryan up in the apartment and then over here is just like a standard bookcase for her to store stuff and I made sure to put an A for Amber and I will fix the floating clock float floating clock oh child um okay so I think next we should go in this room which is Amber's studio like I said, everything is not done, but you get the gist in the fill. These package bins are here because she has her own business. And here is Miss Amber. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you tell I haven't done this in a long time? Let me let me regroup. Let me regroup. 
So here is Miss Amber doing what she normally does every single day, all day long, and that is stay at her sewing machine. This is her her creation studio, whatever you want to call it, and she's working on some orders right now. This is for her business. I haven't truly figured out all of the products that she sells, but I'm pretty sure she does like crochet type clothing or like um I don't know just handmade clothing and this is supposed to be the studio for that this is something that I meshed personally but we're gonna say that this is one of her designs one of her creations I really want to add more to this I want to make more decor making these package bins which are on my patreon um Making these package bins really made me want to make more decor. That's why I did a full decor um, pack at the start of the month. It was so much fun to make, like, having a sim in mind and then making things for her. It was cute. So I definitely, definitely wanted to add that element. And this room is specifically for her to work in. Um, and she does yoga. So that's some of her, like, yoga materials, her gym bag and her yoga mat. And then this is her computer. I didn't really add a lot of stuff on the wall because I honestly want to change this little desktop monitor and I want to make it a whiteboard with like personal stuff on it so I'm gonna mesh that myself but she also has a mic because sometimes she does content creating we have a magazine she was probably reading and just you know office stuff over here of course just product for her to use and an empty rack I didn't even know I had this, but we have some fabric rolls, which I thought added to the whole design element. And yeah, I really like this room. I definitely want to add more stuff though. Like I feel like it's kind of empty, but as we go on, I feel like the room will fill up more and more. So let's go ahead and go across the room because we honestly almost done with the tour. Oh, this is Nova's little area. I didn't show that her scratch post and her bed which she never wants to get in but whatever um so now we enter her bedroom which is very lit for some reason i when i say lit i don't mean you know turned up i just mean like i don't know why it's so bright usually i have it darker but as we come in she has plants all over the place like she is a plant mom and then over here we have her vent tea uh, which I added this skull thing. I never really, because I stopped playing the game like that, I never got to use a lot of the decor that I made over, like, the last year. And now I got to put it in, like, the builds that I'm doing. And it's so cute. Um, so yeah, this is just her vanity, you know. She doesn't really put makeup on like that, which y'all will see, like, the skin is skinning, honey. But every now and then, you know, she beats her face or whatever, and her little sister comes over and beats her face, so she has a vanity. Over here is just seating areas, really, for people to sit, and also a way for me to fill up space, because I didn't realize how big the room was. This is um a bunch of posters of people that she likes and looks up to and I also put this out with the decor pack um I'm pretty sure this is I don't know this man apparently he's problematic Steve Lacey Frank Ocean Mac Miller um Drake Kid Cudi Playboy Cardi more I think this is Drake um Childish Gambino ASAP Somebody and then Tyler the Creator uh I thought those was cute to add and then she has her own TV in her bedroom. And we have, I wanted to, I don't know why people don't make more perfume. I honestly might just delete all of these and make my own perfume. But um, her little perfume tray, a candle, some incense, just, you know, just, just bad, bad girl things. And then this is all of her like body care and lotion and stuff like that. I thought that was cute to add. I really wanted to feel like she lives in here. 
Then we have her bed area, which I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all she like Brea Faya. She has all of these rugs. These rugs are not by me, but this one is. I released it with the other rug. I thought this was cute to add because she's one of them. Like, <laughs> she loves her some Brea Faya's and Frank Ocean. And yeah, so I thought that was cute to add. We have her side table. She's always drinking something. So she was drinking some vitamin water, power water, whatever. Um, you know, a tray with some bracelets and stuff. We're we're trying to add the detail. We're trying to add the detail. Then more more chairs to fill up space. <laughs> and this is a journal from the Ravishine mod. I haven't tried it yet, but I thought that was cute to have her journal by her bed because she does journal. And um more oops, more art that I'm saying is by Ryan and just her little her her hanging for her clothes. I also put a mirror over here next to her hamper just because I feel like she needed something in her room to look at herself. And then over here is actually um where Nova's toys are, which I don't know if that's staying there to be honest. And then I just felt like this room wasn't really complete. So I didn't know whether whether to put a bathroom in here or a closet. I ended up going with the closet since she's a fashion girl. We have some full length mirrors in here and then just a bunch of clothes and this unfinished closet with all these things. I really want to redo this and just have shelves of like shoes and bags because she is supposed to be like really into sneakers and stuff like that. But I just didn't have the time and I think this is good enough for right now. And she does have a balcony, but I have not touched that at all. It's honestly probably still some Max's stuff out here, is it? It's a Max's plant. But I plan for us to actually redo this during the episode, so we just didn't do it yet. So I hope you all enjoyed the apartment tour. Are you happy that I'm back? Let me know in the comments. Are you excited? Have what do you think of the quality? Isn't the quality quality just like I can't even talk? Isn't it good? I miss y'all so much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Hey, yay, hey, in the next one. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys. We bet, bet, blickety, bet.